Hello BookTube! <laughs> Just recently, Aaron Facer made a video, one of those time-lapse things where he shows us him building a bookshelf from a box set. And when he was done building the bookshelf, he showed us the bookshelf in situ. He put it where it's going to go, on the table, next to the chair, next to the wireless router, and therefore inadvertently gave us a little glimpse of his reading nook. It wasn't a full-blown tour. I'm hoping that I get one of those <laughs> from him and from all of you. But the idea lodged in my mind that surely that is a fun thing to do. I've shown you plenty of bookshelves on this channel over the years, <laughs> and I would never use a Bolshevik bookshelf like the one he assembled in his video. I wouldn't even take one free off the sidewalk. But instead of bookshelves, it occurred to me that I've never actually taken you on a tour of my own reading nooks. And I have two of them. I have one here at the fainting couch and one in the little book room. So I thought I would do at least one of them right now. And of course, we'll start with the most important feature of, the, of either one of my little reading nooks, which is the baby bean. <laughs> she is the most important feature. She is slightly pouting right now because I am not right next to her. I had to step away in order to make this video. But let's pull out. If you can stand it, I know you're all screaming, you just want to see this. What is that thing on your nose, baby? There you go. You all want to see this, but nevertheless. <laughs> yeah. Let's, if, we, if we pull out from the bean, we'll keep our focus on her for a bit. We see this is the fainting couch. As you can see, it's piled high with blankets and pillows. It is meant to be incredibly comfortable. <laughs> it's meant to be completely inviting, except for the rare occasions when I have a guest over. No one ever sits here but us. Once upon a time, I shared this fainting couch with my two girls, who you, the oldest viewers of this channel, will remember. And before that, I shared it with lots of beagles. <laughs> it's, uh, it's never changed in size. It's, its occupancy has gone up. It's always managed to fit us all. And it is right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to make this out. We'll see. This is an experiment doing a video this way. It's right in a corner. It's right in between two windows, which is really chilly in the winter. There's no real good way to keep this corner warm in the winter. We have new windows installed, uh, and they do a lot. The old windows really, really leaked heat. But even so, this is an old house, so this corner gets chilly. I need blankets on top of me when I'm here. But oh my, during the summer, I have a feeling, and I'm going to rant, I might as well show you the baby. <laughs> if, I have a feeling that uh, not only Boston, but all of the United States and all of the world are fated for an absolutely dystopian summer when it comes to heat. Two locations have already posted uh, record highs, one of which was 111 degrees in May. Uh, so thanks to that, it's going to be really nice to have... This corner is very well aired. There's a cross breeze right across it, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that is where I lean back to do uh, work, to read, to write, to edit, to do emails, that all happens here. Uh, and because this is piled with blankets and pillows, the leaning back is often done at 30 degrees. Sitting bolt upright with all the blood in your body being pumped straight down to your legs and having to do a hard right turn at your butt is really bad <laughs> for you. It's really bad for, I know, I know that you've heard the old phrase, the, the stupid blue check mark health influencer phrase that sitting is the new smoking. Uh, but sitting in that bolt upright 90 degree posture isn't really good for you. Uh, at least, it, it, certainly physi physiologically it isn't really good for you. And also in my own personal experience, ugh, <laughs> the closer you get to 28, the worse it gets on you. Uh, but this is the seating part. And I want to show you the rest of this, of this nook. Uh, I've mentioned before on this channel many times that box sets of books are really convenient because they are their own furniture. And that is absolutely true. <laughs> they can be made into platforms. As you can see, this is a platform on which the lamp is resting. And here along the side, this is very important. This is the power strip. I had my Surly Houseboy get a nice big new power strip with lots of outlets and a surge protector and all that sort of thing. Because I was tired of fiddling with the one single strip. This has two strips. It fits lots and lots of plugs. 
but I don't need lots and lots of plugs because the only three things I have here, I have the plug for the lamp. The lamp is right here. Uh, and then I have the power cord for my iPad and my phone. That's this one on the bottom here. And the power cord for my MacBook. My MacBook Air is at the top here. And that's it. Those are the only two power cords I have. I don't have anything else. This, the, uh, the bottom power cord, this one here, uh, this charges both my phone and my iPad. It's an old-fashioned lightning prong. It's not a USB-C. I actually don't have a USB-C here in this corner because I don't have any devices that require it. Every once in a while I do, but not, not for a while now. I have that plug uh, for the iPad and the iPhone, and I have this old plug for the MacBook Air. And that's it. I just have those two wires uh, and the plug for the phone. And then I have this plastic toolbox. <laughs> the, believe it or not, I'm not a toolbox person. This came with a book. This was part of a promo for a book oh, probably six or seven years ago. And it, it has a latch. It, it is full of stuff. It's full of the miscellaneous little stuff that you often end up needing. Just little things here and there. Uh, a SIM card tray opener, a bunch of extra pens or pencils, uh, a notepad, a physical notepad, a checkbook, that sort of thing. Things that, technically speaking, this tool case probably doesn't need to be here. Considering how seldom I use it, it probably doesn't need to be here. It forms a shelf, however, a convenient shelf for two romance novels that I am uh, working on for the second channel that I started with Sarah, The Bookish Knitter, which is all about category romance. And then uh, on this corner here, in front of, we've got, we've got the Bible, we've got Homer, we've got Tale of Genji, and we've got Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings, this little shelf here, is where the phone usually goes. My iPhone goes there, and it is charging when I'm not using it. But uh, I'm using it to film this video. <laughs> uh, and then down here we have a pen, uh, a pencil, and uh, one of these microfiber cloths, which are, I, I, years ago I realized that these, I said out loud to myself years ago, you never got one of these things around when you need it. And then I realized the reason I never had one around when I needed it is because I didn't put one where I would need it. <laughs> so I did, and now I do. So when I'm opening the iPad, or I'm looking at the, cell, at the cell phone and it needs a good wipe down, I have it right there to do. Uh, all of these things are on top of my old Foot Locker. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing has been all over the world with me. Uh, and now it is done with traveling. It is resting from traveling the same as its owner is. <laughs> this is it is now my table. This is the, the space on which I put everything. One of the things I put here is my water bottle. I would not be without my water bottle. I originally experimented with this. I'd seen all, you know, on all the health you, YouTube channels, the virtues of staying hydrated. Uh, but I'd never actually tried it. And then I did try it up in Vermont once I got a really cheap water bottle up there and tried it and really, really liked how it made me feel. So the only thing I did was when I got back to uh, Massachusetts was to replace it with a bigger bottle. Uh, and then also on this Foot Locker, <laughs> this Foot Locker is where every book comes. Right now, I don't have a ton of new acquisitions. I haven't gone out and acquired tons of books, but they would be piled here if they were. Instead, I just have the books I'm currently working on. That's it. That's all that's, all that's here, just the ones I'm currently working on, right there at the edge. And then down here in the gap in between, I put an Audubon Society blanket down there so things wouldn't just be bumping on the floor. Uh, here is Frida's cat bed. <laughs> that is where she... She stays with little baby Stasius. <laughs> uh, and here in the gap between, down here in the middle, between the footlocker and the fainting couch, are the things I actually need. And I need them to be at my fingertips, but they do not need to be taking up shelf space. The space on the footlocker is for the books. So we have down here my journal. I eventually just migrated back to the big blank sketchbook that Clark Kegley <laughs> likes so much. I eventually just migrated to that. I was trying a bunch of other things, smaller pages, smaller notebooks, but eventually I just went back to this. I like it better. It's the funnest thing to keep a journal with. And then the two pieces of technology. There is my 11-inch MacBook Air and my iPad with its smart cover. And you'll notice, 
Uh, well, you won't notice. I'll show you. <laughs> I've got these two power cords here. That's all. That's all there is here is two power cords. Here's one, the lightning cord. That just goes right in uh, to the iPad. Just plug it right in there. I don't have to take the iPad anywhere. I don't have to worry about where the cord is or disentangle it from anything else. And the same thing with this other one. The only other power cord here is the power cord for the MacBook. It just goes right there. Don't need to think about it. Just, uh, <laughs> it's hard to do this with one hand. The, the uh, vloggers are really a pro at this sort of thing. It just goes right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, this is what I get for not editing. But anyway, you get the point. It goes right there on that machine. I'm not, I'm not getting it to go in right there, but it, uh, that's it. Those two things are charging whenever I'm here. Plus the books, plus the foot locker, plus the fainting couch, plus the baby bean. <laughs> and now as an added benefit, plants. <laughs> There's Larry the Lavender. And Porthos the Pothos. <laughs> I have two houseplants that have not died. They are still alive. As you can see, I have room for other houseplants on this shelf. So there will be others. <laughs> and it's, it's pleasant. I get to look at them in the bright sunlight. So there you go, book two. <laughs> that is my reading nook, one of two. I put the power cord up here. I'm resting it on these books because I don't want it down in a corner there where I can't see it, where I can't easily get at it. I got sick of wrestling with it. So I just leave it there. I leave it where it's easily accessible to me. And that's gonna be extra handy because in a month or two, uh, I'm, my Surly Houseboy is going to put an air conditioning unit in that window. And, and I, it's really convenient to have the power strip right there. So there you go. Can we get a panoramic view here? That is one of my reading nooks. The bean is getting more agitated the further away I get from her. But that is one of my reading nooks. There's the Foot Locker, my old traveling companion. The books, the water bottle, more books, the power strip, scissors, of course, and my banker's lamp with a chip out of the hood. That is one of my reading nooks. Now, I'm going to do a video about my other one. But for now, the gauntlet is thrown. I want to see your own reading nooks. <laughs> I want to see an official video from Aaron Facer, but I want videos from all the rest of you as well. Where do you do your reading? This thing we talk about all day long, every day. Where do you do your reading? And I will do a follow-up this video uh, for the other place where I do my reading, although this is where most of it happens. Uh, so anyway, that's my video for now. I'm hoping that this came out. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up, and I will see you soon. Thank you, book two.